Well now, <laughs> it's uh, tight for time tonight, so let's crack on with the first game, which is called Authors. We've had to all come down. Now each of them's come along with a style of author in mind, and they're going to use their author style mm -hmm. to tell a story. So, uh, JC, which author have you gone for? I'm going to do the Made Up Doesn't Exist Anyway Michelin Guide to Famous Buildings and Landmarks <laughs> in London. I know bugger all about London. <laughs> uh, well, there you are, Michelin Guide. Uh, Greg. Uh, Jack Kerouac, the king of the American beat writers. Oh, right, yes, on the road, all stuff like that. Okay, Jim, Jim? Uh, Tolkien. Tolkien, yes, you're Tolkien, yes, very good. And, um, Tony. My Little Pony. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He has a very, uh, very prolific author, I think, My Little Tony. Uh, My Little Pony, sorry, what I said. <laughs> My Little Tony is completely different. Uh, <laughs> and not so little, I shouldn't wonder. Now, um, let's have a, can you make up a title of a story for them to tell in these author's styles? <clears throat> oh, I killed my fairy godmother. <clears throat> right. Uh, <laughs> well, it's a, bit of a uh, confession there, I think. But how I killed my fairy godmother. So I'll buzz when we've got the idea of your part of the story. Away you go, Josie. I followed my fairy grandmother one day. I hated her guts. She walked across the famous zebra crossing in Abbey Road, well known for being painted by Michelangelo in 1615. And then... London was cold and foggy, but it was cool because I was in San Francisco. <laughs> I was tripping down the streets. <laughs> I pulled a reefer out of my pocket the size of a huge black drummer's leg, lit it up. Gandalf took the reefer in one and smoked it. Suddenly his voice went all high. So, Frodo, what do you make of this? <laughs> Frodo was impressed, and a shadow fell upon his face, and a chill entered his heart. <laughs> At that very moment, thousands of people suddenly swarmed on them. They were orcs, and some were ringwrits. Some were ringwrits, but suddenly they turned into gaily, brightly coloured little <laughs> ponies. Why is everything so garishly coloured? It's because we all take methyl dexamphetamine sulfate. <laughs> were making a nice little trip to Big Ben. So called because the first politician ever was big and called Benjamin. The little ponies were crazy cats, man. Little horses with legs that moved to and fro. You couldn't even tell how much, man. They were wild. I saw my fairy godmother there. I broke a wine bottle over her head. She was well cheesed off. <laughs> at, that at that moment, riding on Pixie Licks was Strider, Aragorn, son of Arathorn, known to the hobbits as Big Tallgit with halitosis. <laughs> Known to the little ponies as Big Pony. I bet you know that. Right, thank you, that'll do. <laughs> thank you. Um, oh, dear. Uh, right. Uh, well, I think... Uh, I'll give you five points each here. A deduction of nine, though, for too many references to drugs. So